Hey guys, Ivan here and in this video we have a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates and we are starting with this one with a physique update of Big Remy, yes another one and in this one he looks really freaking suspicious. Now this is the first time I'm seriously thinking Big Remy is putting something in his delts. Is he only doing gear in that area? Is he putting some kind of SEO? I have no idea. But I was never this much thrown off with his physique, with his delts. Now, of course, there are rumors, people have been speculating before, that he has been putting something in his quads and also in his shoulders. They were always a little bit of a suspect, but I don't think they ever looked freaky like this. Popping this much. Here's for example this photo from his previous prep or the one before that, anyways, here as you can see his delts do look big, they always have been big, he always had those boulder shoulders, cannonballs for delts, but they were always, you know, kind of showing separation and they just looked big, like too big, but not weirdly big as you can see right here. Here's one from 2020 Arnold Classic, two years ago, as you can see, shoulders really big, but do they look weird, do they look suspicious, they are like on the verge of looking suspicious, but not really, me personally, I never seriously considered that Big Remy might be putting some kind of SEO in his delts, legs, quads, maybe, I don't know, but shoulders, I never really felt like that. Here's one from Mr. Olympia, quads, there could be something going on there, there are some weird bumps on the outer head and those legs are just way too sweepy, a little bit unrealistically sweepy, but you know, it could be just great genetics, I'm not sure, shoulders, they never really looked suspect to me, as you can see right here, yeah, they are huge, he's really wide and the shoulders are really round and big, but they never really looked that weird, however, now, this year, in this prep, something is off, man. Something doesn't seem right about his photo. Now, as far as the rest of the physique, I gotta say his waist looks incredibly small. And with these shorts, he looks like a man's physique competitor almost. Like his waist is really tiny and I hope he worked on it and it's actually gonna be smaller on the stage too. I hope it's not only a weird angle, I hope he actually worked on bringing down his waist size and if he manages to do that, that's gonna make an unbeatable Mr. Olympia. Now, as far as his arms, they're looking great and everything is just looking good, especially that waist to shoulder ratio. So the question is, is his waist really that small or are his shoulders just that damn big? And I gotta say, I think his waist is actually really small, but those shoulders are definitely helping in creating that illusion. Now, as far as, is he really putting SEOs in his delts? Or is that simply where he puts all of his gear? I mean, it is a very popular injection spot. I don't know. But if that is the case, he should stop doing that immediately. Like, immediately. Because those delts are starting to look really weird. They are popping like crazy. Now, the only other explanation that I could have would be that he took this photo after a shoulder workout and he ended his shoulder workout with side delts. So he pumped them up insanely, he did a whole bunch of drop sets, which he basically is known for doing. We have seen videos of him doing a lot of volume for shoulders, and he took this photo. If that is the case, then he should not pump up his shoulders backstage at all. They're just making his chest and his arms look smaller, and they do look very weird. Now, if you guys have different opinion, if you think it's something else, or if you think it is SEOs, please let me know what are your thoughts, what do you think? Tell me down below in the comment section. Alright, next we have Brett Wilkin, who is coming back and who is going to try to qualify for the Mr. Olympia 2022, and I think he will do it, I think we'll see Brett on the Mr. Olympia stage this year, and I think he has an amazing plan, his plan is really good. So, on his story today, he said that he is competing in 10 weeks from now. Which show is in 10 weeks from today? Well, October 29th, we have EVLS Prague Pro. Yeah, the show where Mikhail Krizo is gonna be competing. So we might get to see Brad Wilkin versus Mikhail Krizo. And Brad Wilkin would definitely make it harder for Mikhail Krizo to qualify for the Mr. Olympia. But as I said, EVLS Prague Pro is October 29th, which is more like 9 weeks from now. In 10 weeks, we have another show, that's right, and that's Romania. 
Pro, and that's exactly 10 weeks from now, so I'm pretty sure that Brad Wilkin was referring to that. But hey, if he is ready one week out, why not do two shows, just to make sure he gets that Mr. Olympia qualification, and I'm sure he's gonna be ready one week out, so he might go to Czech Republic, do the Prague Pro, and then just go to Romania, which is very close to, to Czech Republic, and do the Romania Pro, and probably get the Mr. Olympia qualification by winning one of those two shows. However, Mikhail Kriz also said that if he doesn't win EVLS Prague Pro, he's gonna go to Romania. So there is actually a pretty big possibility that we will see Brett Wilkin versus Michal Krizo. Another thing is EVLS Prague Pro has always been known for having the biggest money prizes. So if you guys remember back in the day, a couple of years ago only, you had Dexter Jackson, Sean Roden, Big Remy, all of these top guys, Rolly Winkler, many others competing at the EVLS Prague Pro because the prize money was really good. So because of that, I think Brad should probably jump in in that show. It's only one week before he's actually ready to compete, so why the hell not? So there is actually a pretty big possibility that we will see Brad Wilkin versus Michal Krizo. Who do you guys think would win this? Brad Wilkin is actually a really good bodybuilder, if you ask me. So this is the photo of himself right now. As you can see, he looks really big, really round, really aesthetic. He has basically all the tools necessary. Why didn't he place better at the Arnold Classic? that he did earlier this year and so many people actually had this guy winning the Arnold Classic potentially because he looked so amazing at his pro debut Chicago Pro however the Arnold Classic I feel like Matt Jensen tried to bring him as big as full as possible so they probably haven't really been pushing his conditioning as much as they needed to so I don't think he was in shape I don't think he was lean enough so I feel like Matt Jensen missed the mark with this one but however maybe he was actually just conditioned enough but he spilled over maybe he tried to carb him up too much and it backfired I'm not sure which one of those two is but I know that he made so much progress in that year before the Arnold Classic and he was definitely much bigger and better but he was just not conditioned enough for whatever reason and I think that's why he didn't do that well at the Arnold Classic. I'm sure you guys remember this look from Chicago Pro 2021 where he was second after Hunter Labrada where he beat a lot of good guys and he looked phenomenal like he looked crazy he was crisp he was full and round he has those really round muscle bellies round shoulders round chest really good aesthetic looking abs and flat midsection his legs should come up but I think he grew them too he's working like crazy this guy he's really training super hard you guys may have seen some footage, some videos of uh, this training session that Brad did with Nick Walker and this guy trains really freaking hard, I think he progressed a lot I think his quads and his hamstrings both are bigger, his lower body is simply bigger and he also gained some muscle upstairs too so I'm pretty sure we'll see this guy at the Mr. Olympia stage this year I think he should be there, I think he is one of the best physiques in the world right now as long as he brings conditioning if he brings the Chicago Pro conditioning with this newly added muscle mass I think he's gonna get an easy Mr. Olympia qualification and as far as placing at the Mr. Olympia I think he actually has a chance of being top 10 I know it's crazy today to be top 10 at the Mr. Olympia there are so many great bodybuilders but I think there is a possibility whatever you guys think, if you disagree or you agree tell me in the comment section down below all right, next we have a proper preview of Samson Douda's physique at about 15 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And I gotta say, he looks amazing. He looks really freaking big, really massive. He gained so much mass in this past off season. I'm really curious to see the final package. As you can see, he is enormous and his conditioning is great. Here is the flaw, though. I have to speak about the flaws too. I can't only praise this guy. Yes, I am very impressed with his physique, I'm a big fan of his physique, he has a very aesthetic and now at this point a really large physique, but there are gaps for sure. And it's the same thing that was always there, of course, he can't really change that much in one off season. And yeah, I'm talking about his, well I wouldn't say just back, I would say his lats. His lats need to come up big time. Now you can see that especially in the front lat spread, as you can see his lats are not really popping that much. Having no lats make him seem a little flat when he does this pose. If he had those dropping, hanging lats below his shoulders, 
everything would look so much more impressive. And you know, yeah, it's only one, one weakness, one weak point, but I think it's pretty visible and it throws me off, I gotta be honest. I don't know if you guys can see it, if you can notice it or if you mind it, but me personally, I think his physique would look so much better if there wasn't for that gap. You can kind of see it too in the front double, but it's more visible, it's more prominent in the front lat. He has everything else, quads, shoulders, arms, chest, but lats are definitely not really hanging and it throws me off. Everything else, huge, humongous, he really made so much progress and I think he's going to do really well at the Mr. Olympia, but he still does have this, this same weakness that he had before. Take a look at the rest of the physique though when he's doing this crazy posing, he's an amazing poser, so he's really freaking massive. From the front, without showing his lats, he looks like freaking Ronnie Coleman, he's that massive, he's like 330 right now. Here he is next to another bodybuilder and guys, don't make mistake, this guy is also a mass monster, but Samson is one of the biggest in the world right now and that's why he looks so much more impressive here even though the other guy is really big, but Samson, look at him, look at how massive this guy is, yeah, crazy, crazy stuff, I know his lats are the only weakness, but other than that, like, he's really, really massive, look at his side chest, it looks kind of like uh, Brandon Curry, <laughs> better, actually, with bigger legs, so this guy might actually end up in, like, that top six or even higher than that, but the only weakness, again, is the lats, and, of course, it's showing in the back poses, especially, when he does the back double bicep, I mean, he has really massive traps, great rhomboids, great middle lats, but that outer part of the lats, it's just not there, and it's definitely gonna hurt him, it's definitely a gap that needs to be filled, even in the back lat spread, a lot of bodybuilders look uh, great in the back lat spread, even though they don't in the back double, when they have high lats, but Samson, you can also kind of see that gap in the lats when he does the back lat spread too. We all saw his most recent physique update in the gym and this back looks insane, but as I said before, there is a lot of mass in the traps, in the rhomboids, in the rear delts, everywhere basically, aside from lats, aside from lower lats. As you can see, he has a lot of mid-lat thickness, like in the middle area there, where you would think spinal erectors should be, that's lats, he has a lot of lats in that area, but not a lot of in the outer lat area, so that's gonna hurt him a little, but other than that, he looks insane right now. And as I said before, I'll say it again, this guy in my book is not top 10, this guy is potential top 6. Whatever you guys think though, tell me in the comment section down below, like this video if you enjoyed it of course, and please subscribe to this channel guys, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.